As we have noted in recent days and recent hours, Russia's invasion of Ukraine is beginning. Hours after Russia recognized the so-called Donetsk and Luhansk People's Republics as quote-unquote independent, President Putin authorized Russian troops to enter those regions. He has taken other steps that amount to a direct assault on Ukraine's sovereignty. We responded in turn quickly and decisively. Within less than a day, we'd announced the first tranche of sanctions with our allies and partners, including those in the European Union, the United Kingdom, Canada, Japan, and Australia. Our German allies yesterday took resolute action to ensure that the Nord Stream 2 pipeline, what had been a prized $11 billion investment on the part of the Russian Federation, is suspended indefinitely. And as you have just seen, President Biden today authorized sanctions on Nord Stream 2 AG uh, and its corporate office holders. We have now taken complementary action using our own authorities uh, to ensure that Nord Stream 2 is off the table, just as we said it would be. In lockstep with our allies, we are blocking from the global financial system two large banks that are connected to the Kremlin and Russian military, and Ru Russian sovereign wealth can no longer trade on US or European financial markets. As you all know, we additionally sanctioned Russian elites, those elites who are, in many ways, complicit. This is the beginning of our response. If Putin escalates further, we will escalate further using additional sanctions and export controls, which we've yet to unveil, but are fully prepared to implement with allies and partners across the globe. The sequence of events that Secretary Blinken laid out at the UN Security Council last week appears to be proceeding exactly as he laid out. We've seen false flags. We've seen provocations. We've seen theatrically staged meetings at the Kremlin. We've seen cyber operations. And the list goes on. So where do we go from here? Moscow needs to demonstrate that it's serious about diplomacy. Russia's actions over the last 48 hours have, in fact, demonstrated the opposite. If Moscow's approach changes, we remain ready to engage. The United States and our allies and partners remain open to diplomacy. We are <clears throat> eager to engage to avert what would be a brutal and costly conflict. But as we have said, diplomacy cannot succeed unless Russia changes course. As we have said, we are prepared. We are prepared for any contingency going forward.